that we seem to forget is that why do we have the criminal justice to begin with? Why do we have that system in our governments? Let me give you an example, uh, judges. In California, according to the uh, legislative <coughs> analyst office, it costs the Californian government an approximate of $106,000, $131,000 to keep an inmate in prison for a year. Now, assuming the dollar in Kenya is 150 shillings, that is uh, one, um, that is, that's, that's, that will give you uh, close to a couple of millions, 15 million, or thereabout, give or take. Now, according to the standard in 2018, it cost our government, the government of Kenya, an appro approximate of 175 Kenyan shillings to keep one prisoner in prison in a day. And we are not talking about all prisoners. We are talking about the capital offenders. Now, as of that day, uh, as of 2018, we had a little over 6,800 capital offenders in prison in Kenya. That one gives you 1.2 million in a day to keep those prisoners in prison. In a year, that gives you, give or take, half a billion. So we're not just looking at what the criminal justice does to prisoners. We're also looking at the taxpayer. How much does it cost them to keep them there? Point. Just a minute. And then the second thing we are looking at, why do we have, pris uh, why do we have the prison system to begin with? We, have, we, we all know, it's common knowledge, that we have, re we have rehabilitation, we have training and education that happens there. But do these things also happen in the military? Yes, they do. In fact, the military is more thorough than the prison system. And the reason is why we restricted ourselves to these three types of inmates is because these are people that can learn, can 